I was in the uh, Marine Corps. Um, I was an infantry rifleman. I served President support um, for the Marine Corps for four years. I wanted to uh, serve the community, protect those people that can't protect themselves. It's always been a dream, you know. It's a exciting job. <laughs> they told me it would be tough and uh, expect a military base, but in all honesty, I, it flew right over my head and didn't expect what it was, but it's just like the military. Basic running, sit-ups, and push-ups. Um, got a membership at a gym, started working out. Um, kind of went off my normal schedule after getting out of the military, but um, I could have prepared a little bit better. But Michael uh, Radford, it's not my original name. Uh, I changed that name. My original name used to be Igor Yonov. I changed that name when I was 17, and I'm from Russia. That's where the accent is from. Well, I joined, uh, I got out of the military uh, out of Marines in January, uh, went to college for one semester, was kind of missing the military lifestyle, I was missing the camaraderie, so I decided to join the force um, because of that. I've been selling real estate for five, over five years now, not behind the desk guy, kind of detail oriented, so kind of fit, fit the profile. I was afraid of coming in out of shape and being the one out of shape, but I was a strength trainer at Tech for two and a half years, so I worked out every day for two and a half years straight, and pay attention, do what you're supposed to, do what's required of you, and uh, make sure you're in shape. I don't have any military background, this is pretty paramilitary. A career, a, a lifestyle, a life, um, I mean, the physical aspect of it keeps me in shape, keeps me on my toes. I mean, you're only as old as what you let yourself be. Well, I'm from Phoenix, Arizona, 43 years old. I got four kids uh, and my wife. I've been married to 20 years this week and uh, moved out to Lubbock, Texas looking for a job. I had been laid off from my previous job. My wife's from Lubbock and uh, I'd been coming back to Lubbock uh, two, three times a year. And every time I came by, I saw the police signs up told us to be able to be prepared to do uh, 50 push-ups, 50 sit-ups under a minute, and uh, be able to run three miles under 30 minutes, and just to be generally in, in the best shape we can possibly be for the academy. I'm looking to gain a career um, for the next 20 years or more. I'd like to retire a policeman from Lubbock and um, provide a, a good living and a, and a stable job for me and my family. I think I have life experiences which I can contribute to the class. I'm a little older. Um, I've seen a lot of things, have uh, learned a lot of things, and I would hope that uh, through those life experiences I could hopefully help the others along a little more and uh, offer some advice. I got out of the Marine Corps about uh, a little less than a year ago, put on a bunch of weight, uh, kind of <laughs> felt stupid about that, but decided to join the police department, one, to keep the same kind of structure as, you know, the military, and two, help me lose weight, you know, keep me, keep me in that disciplined environment where I have to to stay uh, physically fit. I feel like I'm doing great compared to what I have been. Well, when I started the cadet program, I actually started in May uh, before the academy uh, began. My last fit test, I improved five minutes. I picked up uh, 10 push-ups and uh, 11 crunches. So I'm not where I need to be, but I feel like I'm improving to the point where uh, I will get there. Well, I've grown and uh, grown up and raised in Slayton, a small town just outside of Lubbock. Uh, I grew up there my whole life, a uh, small town kid. I'm actually the fire chief of the Slayton Fire Department, um, and I've kind of chosen to take a different career and a career path. They told us uh, basically just be prepared for the worst thing um, that you've probably ever gone through in your life. Uh, on top of all the physical uh, things being so tough, um, the mental game and the academics are just it's uh, outstanding uh, compared to uh, a lot of other places you could go. I mean, it's just unbelievable what, what you have to, uh, have to acquire and what you have to know in such a short amount of time. Uh, you're going to struggle, and uh, that's, you know, they're, they're here to get you in shape. If you're not in shape, they're going to get you in shape, uh, whatever it takes, um, and they're going to make you tough. If you're not tough, you'll be tough by the time you're done.